In this lesson, you will answer the question, how do I write stories that make sense to readers? In this lesson, you will learn how to guide your audience through your story by using transition words. But first, let's review. In this set of lessons, we're using the following writing prompt. You are in your classroom with your teacher and classmates. Suddenly, your principal makes an announcement that there is a surprise in the cafeteria. Write a story that tells what happens next. Let's also review the steps that we've already gone through. So we've gone through, we've looked at the writing prompt, found the key ideas, made a list of what we might do to answer the writing prompt, what our story might include. We picked an idea. The idea that we chose for the story was that the President of the United States was going to be visiting in the cafeteria. And the next step was to make sure we had a sense of what was going to happen, the beginning, the middle, and the end of our story. And that I went ahead and jotted down before writing. So the beginning of my story, the principal tells us about a special guest. Next, I recognize the special guest in the hallway, and I'm amazed because it's the president. And three, he talks to us about the importance of school. He shakes my hand. And at the end of the day, I tell my family. Let's also review the writing process and see where we're at at this point. There are five steps to the writing process, starting with understanding the question in the prompt. Next is brainstorming ideas. Third step is making a plan. The fourth step, writing the sentences. And the fifth and final step, revising. So we're right here at the writing the sentences stage. So a common mistake that writers often make is writing sentences without transitions. Without transition words such as after that and next or finally or just first and second. Um, so here we have a student and without transition words the reader kind of ends up going, going all over the place. So you got to remember, help guide your audience with transition words in your writing. So in this core lesson we're going to go through three main steps. First, reread your story. Second, look for parts of the story when the setting, the time or the place of your story changes. And third, add transition words such as next and after that and finally to make your writing better. So let's first look at what I have written for the beginning of my story. So if you remember from my list, the beginning of the cafeteria surprise talks about the principal coming into the classroom and telling us about a surprise in the cafeteria. Um, and then we're going to head on down the hallway and see what that surprise is going to be. So here's the beginning of my story, and I'm going to go ahead and start reading it to you now. The cafeteria surprise. The principal came into our classroom to tell us there was a surprise in the cafeteria. We lined up and our teacher led us to the cafeteria. Rosie asked what the surprise was. The teacher was quiet. She stopped to tell us that the President of the United States was visiting us today. Wow! So we've read through our story. Next what we're going to do is we're going to think about it and say where does the story transition? Where could I use a transition word to better guide the reader through my writing? Well first of all let's look right here. The teacher was quiet. She stopped to tell us that the President of the United States was visiting us today. I could probably use a transition word to help the guide the reader there. And then also here, Rosie asked what the surprise was. The teacher was quiet. Again, I could use a transition word to help guide us. So let's fix our writing, adding in these transitions. Here we go. The principal came into our classroom to tell us there was a surprise in the cafeteria. We lined up and our teacher led us to the cafeteria. Rosie asked what the surprise was. First, the teacher was quiet. Next, she stopped to tell us the President of the United States was visiting us today. Wow! So here we are, we've added first and next to help guide the reader, making our writing that much better. 
Again, there are three steps we took in this lesson. First, reread your story. Second, look for parts of the story when the setting of your story changes. And third, add transition words such as next, after that, and finally. In this lesson, you have learned how to guide your audience through your story by using transition words.